this is the completed first draft of my sun face. So I'm going to now look at this a little closer and see if there's anything that I would like to make some changes on it, you know, sooner rather than later for my second draft. There's still going to be a third draft coming, which would be all the fine tuning stuff. But, you know, is there anything right now that I see that I think I'd like to um, add a little bit to while I still have those scraps of fabrics handy and, um, you know, maybe some sort of a, a theme or, um, you know, some, some changes that I'd like to make right off. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to annotate areas that I might question. So, or take a second look at. So I've taken this picture from it far away. This is probably about, I don't know, maybe four feet above it. Um, there's my cat Ginny for scale. <laughs> it's very, very helpful. And um, I'm gonna look now, um, when, I'm, when I'm farther away, I can see things a little clearer. Uh, areas that when I'm up close to it, I'll look fine. Maybe when I get farther away or like, mm, I don't know about that. Or, um, or maybe I'll see things that are working really good. Like for instance, I really like the, um, the light area on the left cheek of the sun face. I think that the fabrics are blending together nicely. They are dipping down into the smile line. This is a smile line area right there. And it's showing some form to it. So that's good. It goes up and then down and then up um, into this upper lip area. But there, I think I could do a little better. I think I need to lighten that area a little bit to give it some um, dimension because right now it's just a flat, um, just a one piece of fabric from here to there. So that's one area I want to work on a little bit. And then if I continue that landscape of the face, it goes down into that little divot that's right under the nose, goes up and then down into the smile line and then up into the cheek again and down um, around the, the back of my sphere, right? My two dimensional sphere. So if I'm looking at some of those things, um, I think I could probably get a little bit of light right here again, because that's coming up. My light is coming from this area here. And I think I could lighten that a little bit. And it looks like this smile line right there could use a little help because my, I'm gonna just get rid of a couple of my lines here. Um, this uh, smile line is being intersected by this piece of fabric. You see how that happens? So I'm going to fill that. I wanna make a, a darker line right in there and I'm gonna fill it in here, change my, the color of my, my um, drawing tool here and see if I add that and make that area a little darker, that helps to kind of accent the movement of this upper lip going down and then up into the, my, um, the curve of the cheek. And speaking of that, this piece right there, that bit of fabric or part of the print of a fabric looks a little dark. You know, if I undo this, See how it looks like the cheek is kind of puffed up and then it goes down into a hole and then comes back up. So I'd like to change that. So that's going to be another area that I'm going to kind of mark that I want to change. So let's see, I'm going to erase a couple things here. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to take that away. And now I'm left with a couple areas that I definitely want to look at. There was also a little light on the upper lip right here. Um, right above the lips. So that is so far what I'm thinking I'm going to, yeah, I've got some scraps handy right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of make those changes. Um, moving, let's see, um, let's look at the nose in general, because I started with the nose. I think that's, I'm, I'm happy enough with that right now. I see kind of a dividing line down the center and um, it has a little lighter where it should be, a little darker as it goes down into again, that, that divot, um, you know, under the eye before it goes up into the cheek. So I'm happy with all that. 
um, going up into the forehead, this piece right there. I really liked it when I put it down. It's kind of a fan shaped thing. I'm not sure about it. I might leave it for a third draft and you know, see if I, if there's other things that kind of come along as I'm working on it, but I'm going to keep my eye on that one. Okay. So, cause I'm not sure that's a question mark right there. And so what I think I'm going to do is I'm making some of these marks. If I go and add a nice contrasting arrow. So I'm going to put an arrow coming here, going to that one. I'm going to put an area arrow here to that mark and I'll put an arrow over here because I think what I'm going to do is erase some of those now so it's not quite so distractive distracting um I'll leave I'll leave those two maybe I think I'll go ahead and just leave those those aren't too distracting but having that big triangle up there was distracting to me okay but now I won't forget that I want to keep an eye on that one all right, and I can even put a little question mark up here on my photo to remind myself why there's an arrow. If I look at the eyes, um, I'm pretty happy with the eyes. That was kind of funky fabric that I put in for the irises themselves, but I'm okay with that right now. And then I put some interesting, um, a print, kind of a leafy print here. See that one? Oh, it's not a good one for you to see. I'll do it in a red. How's that? Will that show up? That one right there. You see that? That print and then that print right there. And those are like eyelashes almost. You know, it's kind of a kind of a curving uh, design, a curving print that um, gives a little contrast in that, you know, this, um, the eye, the area um, right on either side of the bridge of the nose also gives a little bit of interest, almost looks like eyelashes, but on the, um, this left side in particular, this left side right here, it's kind of blending. Well, it's definitely blending, you know, with the eye. See that print is coming like this and kind of draping a little bit over the um, iris and pupil, which is fine with me, but it's disappearing. So I need to do something with that. So I'm going to leave that line there to remind me about um, about maybe brightening that up, maybe putting an edge to it somehow, but separating my upper lid eyelashes with the center of the eye. On this left hand side, I think it's looking all right. You know, that's that looks good to me. So I'm going to leave that. And maybe I think maybe even extending it a little bit might be nice. Maybe I you know, bring some of this print over into that area. I think I might like to do that. So we'll try that out. Um, anything else? So there's kind of a down, let's look at the lips, this area here now. So um, I think I'm pretty happy with the lips, except I think the lower lip could be a little lighter. Now in the process of doing this piece, um, take a look right up here in the very upper right hand corner. Um, there is a pair of another pair of lips. See that? That was a little experiment that I did. And I'm kind of liking the lower lip from that one. So I think what I'll do is take the lower lip from that and maybe drop it onto that lip down there and see. But anyway, I've got two lips from the same design. And I think I'll put that on, take a picture and compare it, see which ones I like. And maybe I like certain aspects of either one, who knows, but I have another option ready made to go. And if I didn't, I could find some lighter purple fabric and, and collage it right on top of the, um, the lower lip. It doesn't matter how many layers you have. Don't worry about that. Um, I, I've counted up numerous like dozen layers and my sewing machine needle still goes through them. So just add something on top is when you're doing the um, edits on the different drafts. And so this now, like I said, is going to be my second draft. So that looks pretty good. I have, um, there's a cluster of green. Let's change that color again. 
So here there's a cluster of green right down there. And I like those green bubbles. It's kind of different. It picks up a little bit of green in the fabric right underneath it. Um, there's some green in the upper right, um, uh, upper right forehead there. It's a slightly different color green, but that's okay. I like that. I think I need to add more. So I'm going to put a, a big um, plus. Oh, that doesn't show up. Let's find a color that actually shows up. I guess the white shows up pretty good. So there's a big plus on there. I'm going to go plus. So I'll get those scraps, get some of that fabric, and maybe add some in different places. I could add a little bit up here by the eye. Looks like this eye could use a little bit of interest, maybe right in here. That might be kind of fun. So I'll put a plus right there and see, um, you know, maybe add a little bit up there. That would be a nice idea. Um, or it'd be a nice balance, I should say. It would kind of bring some green in a fairly plain yellow area. Uh, oh, it also might be nice right in here, um, that uh, um, upper lip. Maybe I could put some a little bit of um, light right there. That might be interesting. And I'll just see. I'll just add a little bit there and see if I see anything else that, that pops up. Then the other thing I was thinking that I noticed was the, um, on the chin. This line right here of leaf is pretty harsh looking. On the left hand side of the chin, as it blends into the light area, that's a little smoother of a blend. Okay, let me take these away and I'll show you. See how the left side kind of blends in a little bit, but then all of a sudden you see this kind of triangle shape of the, the yellow leaf. I like the leaf, you know, I like that fabric, that leafy yellow fabric, but it's just too much of a contrast against the leaf and that fabric. I like both fabrics. But what I'm going to do is find some sort of fabric that acts like kind of a blender of some sort. So maybe it's a little bit of, hmm, let's see, do I see anything in here that might automatically work? Um, hmm, I'm wondering about this. Take a look at the very top. See that flower right there? It's got green and orange. It's kind of blending nicely up in that area. I wonder if I could bring it down maybe into this area if it would somehow blend. That flower fabric has, it's a batik, so it might have a yellowy area that I could look for. So I will make a little um, check mark. So that'll be my, my notation that a check mark and a check mark. See about bringing that down into that area. So those are good reminders for me. Um, one thing that does pop out, but I think I'm going to leave it, is this, um, see that big, um, the, the right hand side of the face, um, uh, straight across from the mouth, that yellow kind of 60s pop art sort of, of design, it's over here in the upper left, um, or kind of mid left as well. It's the same fabric there. And those are you know, it certainly don't, they don't blend, um, but I kind of like them. They're like these funky little things like tattoos or something. So I might find another one and see if I could put it someplace else. Like, um, I don't know, maybe uh, I'm looking down here in the lower left. Maybe that would be something I could do and kind of repeat that pattern. I kind of like that. And so I'll see what I can find. And that's not too bad. Those are just a few things. Um, I would put them onto a checklist and then I can cross them off. That's um, kind of a fun thing to do. And, oh, I wanted to check the rays too. So let's check the rays and I'm gonna squint my eyes and see if anything shows up. Um, you know what, this ray right down here, the lower left, that ray right there, that's kind of straight looking. I think I like all the waviness from other from the other rays. So I'll make a little note. I'll keep that line there because it's kind of um, that'll remind me that it's maybe too straight. And this side of that one and this side of the left of that and the right of this one look a little little straight too. So I'll look in my scraps of ray fabric and some of that that 
the palette, the fabric palette that I made for the rays and see if I can find a little squiggle of some sorts, maybe like adding a, you know, maybe a little line of something like this, you know, a little piece that comes over it and changes the, the um, outside edge of those four edges. So I'll see what I can find with that. All right, so um, let me get out of annotation here. And there is another, there's a close up, but working from a distance seemed to work pretty well. There's the, oh, sorry, I gotta get rid of the annotation. Okay, let's clear the drawings. There we go. So um, there it is. And you know, this is good to have a close up of it. Um, when I make those, those changes, those you know, pretty minor changes, then I can compare a close up from you know, one to the next as well. 